Our Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command, or NAFAC, has planned, designed, and carried out dozens of projects in the Caribbean from humanitarian assistance to military construction projects in the region. In fact, in 2000, since 2008, our engineers have executed nearly $100 million of construction projects in the region to include things like airfield improvements in an emergency operations center in the Bahamas, upgrading a pier in Barbados, an operations center, and other disaster relief infrastructure in Dominica, emergency response facilities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, expanding the hangar and warehouse at the airfield on Exuma Island, which is an essential disaster response hub, disaster relief warehouses and an operations center and medical clinic in Jamaica, peer repair and a protective breakwater in St. Lucia, emergency warehouses, operations centers, and medical clinics, and much more in Haiti. And we are scoping a future project with the Royal Bahamas Defense Forces at Coral Harbor. This April, our Chief of Naval Research will host the ninth specialized Inter-American Conference for Science, Technology, and Innovation in Orlando, Florida. It gives you a chance to go to Disney World, too. <laughs> you have your Atlantis, we have Disney World, right? The conference will focus on using science and technology to address climate change and marine pollution, renewal and hybrid energies applied to the naval field, and integrating unmanned systems. Representatives from Central American and Caribbean nations to include El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, and the Dominican Republic will discuss developing an inter-American common operational picture and using that shared understanding to combat climate change and marine pollution. 